Hi guys, Dan here for Fan of History. When I started doing the Christmas special on the Epic of Gilgamesh, I was fairly sure what we knew of the Epic of Gilgamesh was known. That is, the story is 4,100 years old and we should like have what we have. There are parts missing of the story. But then something happened. After the war started in Iraq in 2003, uh, a lot of museums and other places were looted in Iraq, but uh, a museum called the Sulaymaniyah Museum, which is directed by the Council of Ministers of Iraqi Kurdistan, they had an idea. They paid smugglers to intercept archaeological artifacts. They didn't ask any questions. They believed that they could keep important artifacts under their control this way and save some of the cultural heritage of that is so rich in Iraq. And in late 2011, the Sulaymaniyah Museum acquired a collection of clay tablets, 80 to 90 tablets. And among these things, they found 20 lines from tablet 5 of the Epic of Gilgamesh that was unknown. They, we had not found these lines. Tablet 5, we thought it was complete, but uh, they bought this stuff uh, for 800 bucks, which was pretty good. I would have loved to buy that for 800 bucks. So, um, three fragments of the tablet, and Professor Al Ravi cleaned it and tried to put together. Some, uh, some of it was already tried to put, uh, they already tried to put together it, but um, careful work was done in this, on this tablet. They uh, tried to read it, they tried to translate the cuneiform. And uh, it seems to be from the old Babylonian period, that is 2003 to 1595 BCE, which is extremely old. Most of the tablets of the Epic of Gilgamesh we found has been from the Neo Assyrian Empire, and this is 600 or more years before the Neo Assyrian Empire. So, uh, this is uh, Back to the Cedar Forest, Tablet 5. We haven't gotten there yet in our story. But this is the new things that we learned from this tablet then. And it was published, the findings was published in June 2014. So this is just two and a half years old, this information about this 4,100 year old story. So we got 20 new lines that were not previously known. Uh, we also found some repetitions that could then be completed in earlier parts of the tablet. So... If you look at the story, this is the new information. Gilgamesh and Enkidu see some monkeys as part of the exotic and noisy fauna of the cedar forest. And that is not mentioned in other versions of the epic. Uh, Humbaba, the villain, emerges not as a barbarian ogre, but as a foreign ruler entertained with exotic music at court in the manner of Babylonian kings. The chatter of monkeys, chorus of cicadas, and squawking of many kinds of birds forms a symphony that daily entertain the forest guardian Humbaba himself. We also get to learn more about what happens after Gilgamesh and Enkidu kills poor Humbaba. And uh, then we also get to know that Enkidu had spent some time with Humbaba in his youth. But I thought like Enkidu was a couple of weeks old and created by the gods. Or did the gods just point Shamhat to Enkidu? This story just doesn't really hold together. But we got 20 more lines. And I will try to incorporate them if I can find the full transcript of the text when I get to tablet 5. Thank you for watching.